Thank you, Ryan and Clay. Uh, I'm glad we could join you. Our opening prayer this morning goes like this. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of great sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we ask, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts to that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for the morning comes from the 116th Psalm, verses 14 through 17. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. So today, as we gather in prayer, and as you take a few minutes here after the video is done to pray, we want to remind you to be praying for those suffering throughout the world because of the coronavirus. We want to invite you to be praying for global, national, state, and local leaders as they make decisions uh, and that, that profoundly affect our safety, our security, our provision. Um, so would you pray for all of our leaders? Uh, would you pray for healthcare, healthcare workers, first responders, as they care for and minister to the sick and to the dying, uh, that God would uh, protect them and secure them and grant them grace in this time? Would you pray for the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring about repentance and faith in this time? As many um, are rattled and their confidence in themselves are rattled, would, they, would this be a time that the Holy Spirit would be poured out to bring many to faith in him? Would you pray for our witness as a church to our local community and all that we can do and all the different ways that we can care for and love those uh, in this time? Would you also be praying for the protection and provision of those in our church family? Maybe there's certain people you know, maybe there's um, things that you uh, can do to help, but be praying for those in our church family that need help in this time, and that God would grant the grace of courage and strength and provision for those who are uh, in our church who are struggling. Uh, now let's uh, say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Just as a reminder, church family, today to leave your uh, prayer requests uh, down below in the comment section and uh, want, we will be uh, praying together for one another in this time. If you have a confidential prayer request, just say something like, uh, pray for me. And um, we'll make sure that we are all praying for one another together. And uh, so make sure you're leaving your requests down below. And um, if there's any specific or particular needs you may have, uh, you can uh, send a message to us um, either on the comment section or to our email, info at missionhillschurch.org, or call our church offices, 760-759-2233. All right, let's uh, join in prayer together today. Thanks, and God bless.